hi and welcome to City A Go-Go, coming to you this week from Consolidated Works on Boren Avenue. Well, as usual, there are lots of great performances happening, so we'll give you just a few highlights followed by the details. So let's get to it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. First up, a collaboration of dance, music, and really funky vocals. The piece is called Go Ahead, Fire Me. And uh, we started working on it because we were interested in working as dancers with musicians, a live setting with specifically vocals and in an, in an improvisation based setting. So that's how we started working together. It's still mainly improvisation. And we're using effects on our voices, so it's very much like machines doing most of the singing. It started off kind of vague and slowly we've been sort of honing in on a particular thing. Now it's, for me, it's sort of at this place where we're exploring just working, uh, doing repetitive work day in and day out and how, how that makes you feel, how it sucks the blood right out of your soul. <laughs> Two smart guys talk about opera. Opera is important because it allows an audience to experience intense passion. It's the art form in which all the elements of performance art and listening art and viewing art are combined in one particular experience. Opera demands people. It's the most labor intensive of all art forms. It's music that people sing, it's also music that is played by the, by the orchestra. It's an event that, where a person is bombarded with many, many different stimuli. It's the full works. And when it works, at its highest level, it's an absolute knockout. Seattle Opera's job is to make sure that you're never bored in the opera. Come on, try it. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Ready for the details? Here they come. One, two, three, four. Go Ahead, Fire Me is part of Rock Hopper Dance Company's annual series, On the Side, which runs October 17th through the 20th. Call 860-5620 for more information. The Seattle Opera's production of Tchaikovsky's Eugene Onegin opens Saturday, October 19th. To learn more about this show or the entire upcoming season, call 389-7676. The Experience Music Project's singer-songwriter series continues on October 19th with John Doe, formerly of the band X, and Seattle's own Christy McWilson of the Pickets. Call 770-2702 to find out more. The 7th Annual Seattle Lesbian and Gay Film Festival runs October 18th through the 24th. This year's festival features 150 films and includes a first-ever North American premiere. More information is available at 325-6500. And finally, if you're interested in art glass, the Tacoma Museum of Glass is the place for you. Check out their current exhibition and event schedule by calling 1-866-468-7386. Miss something? Not to worry. Just go to seattlechannel.org and click on City A Go Go. And that's it for City A Go Go. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, we encourage you to get out there this week, try something new, and experience the awesome power of art. See you next week.